July 29th, where Stephen A was critical of the receiver, saying, This is coming from someone who never put on a helmet. We'll see who gets the last laugh. It ain't over. Uh, and then Stephen A responding, My man, don't come at me like I'm against you. I'm for you, but you messed up and you may cost your team, period. And then Brian went back at our Stephen A. One thing about me is I never cared about people who judge me based off my mistakes, especially someone who judges you and bash you every chance they get when you're making life changes. I have no respect. For that dude. Stephen A., were you surprised Bryant came at you? Um, I was a bit surprised, uh, very, very disappointed. Um, but <laughs> at the same time, I don't really care. Um, let me be very, very clear. Mm -hmm. I have, I will, and I will never stop getting on guys who are costing themselves money and blowing their careers because of drug use. It's that simple. I'm not talking about guys uh, who are not costing themselves. Like I tell people all the time, I'm, I'm cool with Snoop Dogg. And, mm -hmm. and we all know what, what, what Snoop Dogg will give new meaning to a green room now. Yeah. You never heard me say, never heard me say a word about him. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's not costing him money. Martavis Bryant has been suspended for the year. He cost himself. And you can sit up there and say, you don't care about me. Fine. That's okay. It's okay. You care about Mike Tomlin? You care about your teammates? You care about those Pittsburgh Steelers fans? All of whom support you. This wasn't the first time he was suspended. That's why you're going for the year. Because you're a multiple-time offender. And once again, you make mistakes, and you're pointing the finger at somebody else because they're highlighting the consequences and the ramifications of your actions. Instead of thinking about me coming at you, think about what you need to do to get yourself better. We were at the Steelers camp. Am I lying when I say some people were sitting up there looking at him like, why is he in California rehabilitating? Why isn't he somewhere else? Is that the place that you want to go to rehabilitate? These are questions that people have. And so I wish him nothing but the best. I am not rooting for against Martavis Bryant. I hope to God that he gets his act together and he comes back on the field and he helps the Steelers win a championship. But this is on you, bro. This ain't on me. Yeah, I don't, nothing, nothing to add there. Yep. He says he's making changes, so hopefully that is the well, case. Well, You're a Steelers he, fan. He, you want to see him on the field. He said that ahead. last time. Everyone yes. here wishes Martavis Bryant well. I yes. think it's fair to say everyone's rooting for him. Yes, yes, yes. Moving on, though, Stephen A's friend, he's back in the news. And, of course, we're talking about one Timmy Tebow. A source is telling our Jerry Krasnick that Tebow will hold a workout in Los Angeles on August 30th for over 20 Major League Baseball teams. Max, what was the first thing that went through your beautiful mind oh the beautiful mind your huh? beautiful mind when you heard this um that it's great that he's trying out for teams but he's doing it in the wrong sport tim tebow should be trying out for nfl teams right now Stephen a there are a couple of teams that could use him the 49ers for example they got a poor man's colin kaepernick and tim tebow and if kaepernick's issue is a dead arm or if that's a code word for an injury or whatever it is that's keeping him off the field or that he can't rally the locker room and rally the troops because he asked out and what you need is a poor man's tim tebow who can rally the troops and inspire the locker room excuse me poor man's kaepernick that's tim tebow and how about the denver broncos who are looking to start Simeon in the preseason because Sanchez ain't hacking it, because they have a rookie that they don't want to start. How about the Denver Broncos, who won the Super Bowl last year with a quarterback who threw nine touchdowns and 17 interceptions? Do you know what Tim Tebow, who is 7-4 and four lifetime as the Broncos quarterback, I may add? Lifetime, he's not nine touchdowns and 17 interceptions. He's 17 touchdowns and nine interceptions. If he were in football shape, he would be worthy of at least a look by the Denver Broncos. I know what I did to you just then. You're, gonna make anyway. him, you're making him very annoyed, I think. We sprung this on him. <laughs> just so America knows, um, <clears throat> Molly was aware of what you were going to say. Blindsided. You were aware of what you were going to say. <laughs> the producers here at First Take were aware of what you were going to say, but nobody told me. I was not aware mm. of this. Because, see, they know that I would not have allowed this subject on the show. The fact that you would sit up here with a straight face 
and talk to me about how Tim Tebow should be a quarterback. See, this is the nonsense that folks get into. Let me be very, very clear, because I'm trying to be nice. He's going to try out for Major League Baseball teams in about a week or so. I, he's my friend. I don't root against him. But the fact of the matter is, I'm a realist. I am a realist. And the man cannot throw. And see, what the shame for all of you is. You, you, and all, all of you. All of you. So like Here's my the, the, All of you. Here's the problem. Everybody wants to shove aside the criteria that comes along with being a professional quarterback. What y'all do is so disrespectful to NFL quarterbacks everywhere because they have an obligation to know how to throw the football. They have an obligation to know how to stand in the pocket and actually fling a football. Their definition of playing a quarterback is not running the football half the damn time, okay, which is what Tim Tebow does. You know this. Everybody does this. It's a shame. It is an absolute shame. And by the way, when he threw that, when he lucked up and threw that touchdown pass against the Pittsburgh Steelers, when he connected with Demarius Thomas on a slam pattern that he scampered 80 yards for to win a playoff game. When he went seven and four, when he went seven and four, I can't look at it. I can't look at it. When he went seven and four, okay, here's my question to everybody. What year was that? Wasn't that, what is it, 2011, 2012? Which year was that? I don't even remember the year. I try to scratch it from the crevices of my mind because it's one of my most painful experiences watching the NFL. Yet here we are. It is the year 2016. Tim Tebow has been irrelevant as an NFL player for at least three years. At least three years, okay? And here y'all are sitting here talking about him. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. All of you. All of you should be ashamed of yourselves. He's going to, listen, I'm upset that he's going to even have eyeballs watching him perform and try out Why? for Major League Baseball. Because we I don't should think, do our show there. I don't think, no, hell no, we, we should won't. Take yes, it on the road. let's go on the road. Y'all are more Tuesday, than welcome August to come. Tuesday, August 30th from listen, L.A., listen, Max listen. and I will do the show. I got, I, got, I got plenty of reasons to you be in L.A. LA. I promise you I wouldn't be there You'll for that. I would not show up for Tim Tebow to try out for Major League Baseball I want to say something about Tim Tebow now, and I want to address your specific points about him. He went 7-4, and and I understand in the NFL, it's okay, you did that, that's great, and you talk about lucked up and through the pass and won a playoff game by the way but okay part of it is the evaluators look and see is what you did repeatable in other words yeah you did it but it's a small sample size and are what is what we're talking about here correlation like you were the quarterback and they won or is it causal you we won what because the you hell were, are you talking about won, I, mean, I don't even understand what you're talking about be, what be, we won because you were the quarterback now I don't know the answer to that question. I don't know if he lucked up or if he inspired his team to really, win. Really, but we will never he know if he never team. gets he another is, chance. Is that, is, is, is that How would you is, know? Is that bogus nonsense right there. So he's inspirational. Yeah, That's what, he so is that inspirational. In a full contact sport. need to stop it. Y'all need to stop it. In a full contact sport, that stuff matters. Listen, listen, I don't want the Christian coalition out there coming after me because I get on Tim Tebow. Because when you say inspiration, you know where I'd go. You know where I'd go with that. I don't even want to get started. My mother loves Tim Tebow, okay? I need to watch my mouth because mama's watching me. Y'all make me sick. Yeah, this Jesus is nonsense. Christ. Let me tell y'all something right now. Let me tell y'all something right now. Hold on, please. Let me tell you something right now. Tim the universe Tebow. is telling you Tim something. Tim Tebow. Yes. Listen, listen. You're the co-workers. Excuse me. Speaking Tim of Tebow is trying out for Major League Baseball, and they're yes. sending teams to flock for him. Okay. Do you know what, as, the, at a, as a quarterback, this man's a two-time national champion. Mm -hmm. He's a Heisman Trophy winner. Oh, so he can play listen, certain are you ready for, right? Listen to yeah. me. And still, we sit here. Do you know that Terrell Pryor is probably a better quarterback than Tim Tebow in terms of throwing a football? They moved him to wide receiver. They moved him to wide receiver, okay? Are you kidding me? But Tim Tebow, who's been away from the game, who got stained and contaminated by Rex Ryan in terms of how, how you use a quarterback on an offense. This uh, and, and before that, he had only completed 46% of his passes. And y'all talking about him being a quarterback. Y'all are ridiculous. Y'all are ridiculous. I gotta, ridiculous. Say, I gotta say something yeah. else about Go technique and that kind of oh, stuff. Please. Go technique. ahead. Wax eloquently. Why did you become a scout? Why did you become a scout? Because if you go to, if you gonna sit there trying to, to sell me, host, if, if, you, if you gonna sit there trying to sell me on Tim Tebow being a quarterback in the NFL, I mean, you, why don't you just become a scout? Technique and even when, passing percentage, all that stuff is a means to an end. Mm -hmm. Now, even if for the vast majority of people who ever lived, you simply can't get by without it, that doesn't mean for everyone. There are always exceptions to rules. And maybe, just maybe, Tim Tebow in a full contact sport, I agree, doesn't look like a great quarterback, but he's a football player. He can, he's athletic. 
Maybe there's something about Tebow that, that is clutch enough. He always does better in fourth quarters than the first three quarters. That is inspirational enough. I, I can't enough. take it. Whatever I can't it is, I just can't take it. I can't take it. I'm not dealing with this. It's all a mute point because he's a baseball player listen, listen, now, gentlemen. No, 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 football lover. And I want to do the show there. You're the boss. Can we do the show there? Hold on. That's exactly my point. You just brought up the biggest point. What? This man is trying out for a for baseball, yeah. but we talk in football. Yeah. Because somehow, some way, we know his his behind ain't gonna be no baseball. Of course player, not. Okay? And and, and he damn he ain't no football player. What Tim Do the Broncos Tebow, need a quarterback? Here's, here's what Tim Tebow needs they to win do. a playoff game with Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow, listen, leverage is everything. They win a Super Bowl leverage with a guy who threw nine touchdowns what, 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 and 17 what interceptions. What Tim Tebow needs to do, I'm gonna tell you what Tim Tebow needs to do. Tim Tebow needs to recognize that he does a damn good job being an analyst for the SEC with ESPN, and he need to bring his butt back here and work on weekends covering college football for this network. That's what Tim Tebow needs to do. That's what Tim Tebow needs to do, okay? What Tim Tebow doesn't need to be doing is trying to be a quarterback, and he damn sure don't need to be trying to play baseball. Yes, That's what he needs to do. I'm going to give you two numbers. Right. 17 and 9. Which one do you wish you were touchdowns, and which ones do you wish were interceptions? I would 17 and I 9. Would, I, That's Tebow as a Bronco in his career. 17 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Last year, they won talk. the Super Bowl with talk. Peyton, nine I would, touchdowns, 17 I would interceptions. Take Peyton Manning and, I would take Peyton Manning on crutches in the pocket what before I take Tim Tebow. Yeah, me too, but he's tired. Stop. What size do you want your baseball jersey? Please, you, you, you can say whatever you want. Y'all go ahead. Y'all go out there and do Tim Tebow in L.A. I'll be, I'll, I'll be chilling out having dinner. I got plenty of stuff okay. to do in L.A. Cool. It won't be a Tebow play. I promise you that. We're going to L.A. We made something happen.